Good morning, National Dayers. It's Mrs. Erickson. Check it out. I got a new shirt. I'm going to wear black this month. Switch it up a little bit for you guys. Let's move on. Today is Monday, February 14th. It is the 45th day of the year. There are 320 days left. Happy Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day began as St. Valentine's Day, a liturgical celebration of one or more early Christian saints named Valentinus. February 14th first became associated with romantic love during the High Middle Ages as the tradition of courtly love was then flourishing. During 18th century England, this day evolved into an occasion in which lovers expressed their love for each other by presenting flowers, offering confectionery, we call it candy, and sending Valentine's cards. Since the Renaissance, we've been exchanging Valentine's cards. These handmade missives of romance grew into a more commercial venture by the Victorian era. Today, school children exchange Valentine's greetings too. They prepare for the day by making unique boxes to receive their many hearts, cupids, and pun-filled rhymes. Chocolates and candies have also become part of the celebration. It's also one of the busiest days of the year for florists. Surprise someone special in your life today with a Valentine. Today is also Read to Your Child Day, National Donor Day, National Ferris Wheel Day, and National Cream-Filled Chocolates Day. Okay, National Dares, I have a couple exciting things to tell you about today. Number one is we just hit 800 subscribers, which I am so excited about. Thank you guys so much for sharing our show, for telling people about it. Let's get as many people watching and celebrating every day with us. So keep telling. If you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure to subscribe. I need to know you're out there. Speaking of out there, today's shout out goes out to Ms. G Mac, Mr. Miller, Ms. Marie, Ms. Jackie, Ms. T, and Ms. S, and everyone in the special education program of Room 8 at Park Home Secondary School in Brampton, Ontario, Canada. You guys were in Canada. We made it to Canada. I bet you weren't expecting that today. I wasn't either when I got the email. Hey, everyone over there at Park Home, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for your support. Thank you for making this awesome. And hey, today was a 60 second shout out instead of 16. Thank you so much. Teachers, would you like to get your class a shout out? Just complete the Google form. The link can be found below in the description. Let's make a quick and easy pop-up Valentine's Day card today, shall we? Gather up all these goodies. So the first thing we need is a heart. Don't worry if you don't have a stencil, you can just draw your own instead. Then you're gonna need a little bit bigger heart than the one that you just drew, and you'll see why in just a second. So take your second piece of paper and fold it in half like you would a card, and then trace or draw a little bit bigger heart than the one that you did on the other piece of paper. Now cut both of these hearts out. Now on the inside of the card, you're gonna wanna mark right in the center of where the heart is gonna sit. It'll help you as we do the next step. Now if you remember back on January 7th, we made a bobblehead, we're going to repeat making that paper spring again. If you need a tutorial, go back and watch January 7th, National Bobblehead Day. 
Now just tape the spring inside of the card where we made the mark. And then you're going to want to also tape the smaller heart onto the paper spring that we made. Now all that's left to do is write a message. I wrote Valentine on the outside and then you make my heart jump on the inside. Voila! It's a Valentine's Day card. Okay, National Dares. I'm pretty excited about this. Look! You can see it and it's still there. So we have our cool spring. We have our cool card. You can change the message inside. I liked you make my heart jump, but you could put something else in there as well. You can give this to a parent or a teacher or a friend or someone special, anyone in your life. All I can tell you is make this Valentine's Day great by making someone else feel great too. Keep smiling, National Dayers. Have a marvelous Monday, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.